Hey there and welcome! And in this video we are going to take a quick look and a kind of unboxing of the new Hitpoint Press, the deck of many animated spells and the deck of many animated things as well. So let's get to them! We have 10 different decks going from the deck of animated things, cantrips, and then going from level 1 to 5 of spells, when we have some volumes for level 1 up to 3, you have 2 volumes for each level, and then level 4 and 5 you have only one deck per spell level. Each one of the decks was packed inside a tarot box. Uh, it, they have approximately the, the tarot sized cards, and they have a plastic packaging outside, and as far as I know, they should have another plastic inside. So, cutting out the first outside package, then you remove what was, a, as I can say, just an outside part. You have also the avatar of death in the animated, so it is separate, let's try and find out why. So opening the box, this is the animated things, so we have the 23 cards and a small manual, and then we have all the cards and I hope that you can see that like the first one is the void, they are tapping on it. You have official guides, uh, official videos from Hitpoint Press with each one of the animations. I will post the link or put it up here. And the thing is why I have two avatar of death. It, ah, it's because you have one card, both have the same animation. However, one have has the same background as the other tarot ca seven cards, and one of them has the status of the Avatar of Death. So that's a quite a nice touch, I will say. And then you have all the 23 cards with the same background and you can easily amuse yourself with your players or if you are a player, amuse yourself trying taking one card out of the deck and trying your luck. Going to the spells, I know that it's important also with the animated things, but most importantly with the animated spells is that they use it, the OSR, the uh, Open Gaming License, the OGL actually, and so there are not all these spells, they cannot include uh, Xenatars or even some spells that are not on, on the OGL license, so keep that in mind when taking the cards. And the thing about the Kickstarter is that you have a package with Kickstarter exclusives, and the Kickstarter exclusives are two cards. One of them is Meteor Swarm. And the other is Lightning Bolt. So you have two exclusive cards from the Kickstarter. They are not included in the decks. Mainly because Meteor Swarm is a ninth level, so it wouldn't be included at, after all. But another one is Lightning Bolt that it's a third level and it's not included in the third level packages. Let's go to the other decks. Keeping in mind that opening each one of the decks will have the same experience or almost the same from each one of them. What we have to pay attention is that each deck from level 1 to 3 they will have 30 cards. However, they don't have 30 spells. They will fill the opening cards with cards that have animations, however they are not with one spell 
specifically. We will look at it later. However, for decks 4 and 5, they have more cards, not less. For instance, level 5, you have 40 cards. So it's at least, it's, 30, it's 10 more than the 30 from the other ones. Also, important to notice is that apart from cantrips, level 4, and level 5, all the water ones are separated in volume 1 and volume 2. So you don't have all the spells if you only buy one of the decks. You have to buy at least two. But uh, it's because they have much, a much larger uh, available spells on the open gaming license uh, than cantrips level 4 or 5. I will open the cantrips because this is one of the decks that is unique, you don't have volume 1 and 2 and also because Cantrips is such a nice flavor from 5th edition and this is something that uh, I really like that it's really focused for 5th edition as I mentioned you have the plastic one, you cut it and afterwards you can have a little bit of trouble from pulling it because it's really tight but I prefer like that than if it's loosey and taking the cards from inside you have a little small manual that is not actually a manual, it's just a card the license because it's mandatory to have with open, open gaming and content and then you have your cards. They are not exactly in uh, alphabetical order because uh, you will start with Eldritch Blast. This is the one that is in the cover, so that's something. But the other ones, they seem to be on alphabetical order. And what I mentioned is that you have the animation. On the other side, you have the description of the of the spell. You have some data about uh, duration and such. The class that can use it, and it can be un incomplete, even more for the spells because there are some clerics that can use because of the domain and such. But you have also on the front. From the spells, you have uh, the basic information, duration, uh, range, components, and uh, casting time. But as I mentioned, for the cantrips, you have 24 cards, 24 cantrips, and then you have six cards. They don't have a name on front, they have only an animation, they have some credits also, a small credit, and this is nice to credit the author, and then they are blank on the other side. I hope that it focuses and then you can see it clearly, if not I will post a picture, and then you can feel that, you have some animations that are cool, you have a bell that is ringing, you have a school that is kind of exploding. You have a looping figure cutting the air. You have also some waves, some sword and shield. And okay, it's something that is attacking the sword and shield. And then you have some vine in some way that is reacting. These are the cantrips, so you have 24 cantrips and 6 cards that you can write whatever you want. The ones that I have to mention from the cantrips are the ones that I call utility cantrips and they are these three. Druidcraft, it's a flower blossom, blossom. Prestidigitation, it's or Lighting or dissolving a flame from a candle, 
and Tamaturgy is changing the eye color. These are the cantrips that you can really make a lot of different effects. So they had to choose one of them to, to really picture on the details. And also you have Vicious Mockery from the Bard that is a quite a useful spell and that only has a vocal component. And let's go for the for the other for the spells from level one onward. From the other spells you have approximately the same experience. You have a card taking you for your purchase the license from the open game license and then you have the cards and it's approximately it's 30 cards from level 1 up to 3 and then you have for instance for volume 1 from level 1 you have 24 spell cards and 6 uh, different ones you have some broken song and these animations I am sure that for level 1 and 2 you have official videos from Hitpoint Press unboxing each one of the decks. So you can see the animation in more detail on that. They are a kind of a video, they are still proof, uh, so they are durable, you can bend it with some resistance. You have that sound of video from the part. They are actually with three images so you animate three images three different Im images and then you have the other side and they are all spill proof and as I mentioned you have 24 cards from spells on level 1 volume 1 with six different cards uh, open one that you can write what you want uh, from vol volume 1 from volume 2 it's 25 with 5 custom ones. For level 2, volume 1, you have 27 with 3 additional ones. For spell level 2 with volume 2, you have 26 with 4 additional ones. For the level 3 and volume 1, you have 22 spells with 8 additional ones. And for the level 2, Three, volume 2, you have 21 with 9 additional ones. So this one is the one that has most additional card that you can write whatever you want. For level 4 and 5, you don't have additional cards. You only have the spells because they are unique. You have only one volume for each level. And you have 32 cards on this one and 40 cards on this one. So they have much more cards than the other ones. Additional things are that how they chose to separate between volume 1 and 2. It was by alphabetical order. So volume 2 from level 1. It starts with Thunder Wave. Uh, actually not Thunder Wave because this is the cover. The same thing that happens with volume 1. It starts with Good Goodberry. So each one of the OGL cards and spells that starts bef before go Good Berries are in Volume 1, afterwards you have in Volume 2. Another thing is that I mentioned that they had some plastic wrapping outside, but we will take that out. But they still, they are not directly touchable. You have some plastic on front of it, so you can still use them on their original packaging without having been afraid of it being touched. However, you have their amazing Mimic deck box. I ordered one of their Mimic deck box. Uh, the issue that I had is that between Canada and here, it got broken. You can see it right here. However, I contacted them already. I co contacted the Hitpoint Press and their support is amazing. They already sent me another one and I cannot express my gratitude enough because I really had just an amazing experience. 
between moving, receiving everything, continuing. You have the Mimic. You can see it looks just like an ordinary box, but it's a Mimic box. Inside, it's made of plastic. And inside you have some cards. Yeah, you have some cards with a different way of the Mimic mouth, the Mimic Toothy Maw. And then you can, it's from the size to put your cards inside. I will say that you can put them as that, but I prefer on the vertical so that you can later move, uh, take a better look. It has some lovely details and I am really content, content with the, pro the product and Hitpoint Press really made an amazing Kickstarter with great communication and all of that. In kind of a way to summarize, Hitpoint Press has the deck of many. They made an amazing Kickstarter with the deck of many animated. They have spells from level 1 to 5, apart from the animated things. And all of them are great. They have a very good uh, quality. They are very well built. They have good resistance. They are spill resistance. And a part of the animated decks, they have also the deck of many conditions, monsters, and another stuff. The conditions ones is the one that I love very much, and that's why I took it as well, apart from the animated ones. The deck of many conditions is a deck that has 33 cards, the same size. However, as they are not spill proof, you have also the OGL, because the content is OGL. They come in another packaging with plastic. And then inside of that, you have your 33 cards with the effects, the conditions from D&D 5th edition. You have then some cards that explain the condition, like Charmed, Death and so on. And then you can, if you are a DM and someone gets charmed, you can just hand them the card and then they will know whatever happened. And then you have uh, some really nice art on that. From Paralyzed, Poisoned, uh, Charmed and so on. They are of a very good quality. They are thick really thick and they are not marked as uh, spill proof but I guess that if you clear them quickly they have some kind of resistance to, to humidity so that's it it was an amazing Kickstarter with great communication and I cannot stress that enough but with an amazing outstanding customer service and Go give them a look. Hitpoint Press has some amazing products. Uh, I cannot keep saying amazing like that. But I really was positively surprised with how they handled everything. They credit their artists, which is a great thing to, to, to do nowadays. Each one of the cards has the, the artist on the bottom. And that is really cool from the company and as I mentioned they have some videos about their new animated cards with the animation from each one of them from level 1 and 2 at least and so like the video, share, subscribe, you know how internet works and I'm trying to grow the, the channel so keep up to, to speed and there is a little bell next to the subscribe so that you know when another video comes up. And see ya!